This might look like a picture-perfect island, but what you might not realize is that this is also home to a ferocious, man-eating predator. Indonesia's Komodo Islands are not the kind of place you visit without a guide, but for those who are willing to risk it for the biscuit, these islands are some of the most beautiful out there. Having just visited the volcanic craters in the east of Flores, we sprinted back to our flight, coming closer to missing it than any other flight I've had before. And we got back just in time to start a three-night cruise through the islands with our friends. And so begins the adventure of a lifetime. Woo! Here comes Ruby's suitcase. Shut up. <laughs> it's yours too, okay? Two of those. And welcome home for the next three nights as we travel through the Komodo Islands. Let the sailing begin. This is our boat, the Samara 2, and it was actually just renovated, I think like this week. So we are basically the first people to experience it like this. We've got four bedrooms on this thing. It can sleep up to 10 people, and this boat is just stunning. Oh yeah, Captain, Captain Stefan. Round of applause. Yeah. Our ship manager. Hello, Margo. Hello, Christian. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> unbelievably excited for this trip. And this weather, we can't take this for granted. This trip was pushed back, canceled, two times in a row because of bad weather. But we decided to wait it out and hope that things would clear up. And today is just one of those picture perfect sailing days. Blue skies as far as the eye can see. That looks so good. Yeah. Amazing. This is the official start of the trip. Cheers, guys. Yamas. Yeah. All right, our first little trip. Let's go. Let's do it. So there's a lot of places around the world where they say pink rock, blue rock, and you get there and you're disappointed. You're like, no, maybe there's a slight hue, but nothing special. But this place deserves the title, Pink Rock Island. Look at this. I've never seen any rock formation like this. Pretty pink, hey Chris. This is really pink. How would you rate the pink rock? Ah, uh, super pink. Very pink. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would pink again. It's honestly, you don't need to go to Mars, just come here. True. <laughs> beautiful sunset you've ever seen. That is the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen. Here we are in the middle of the Komodo Islands, a dream come true. And the truth is, I don't feel fully present right now. It comes as no surprise that this is just one part of my life. There's always things going on behind the scenes and sometimes those things suck. And one of the things that's been going on right now has been an ongoing copyright battle with my most important video ever. And unfortunately, it seems like I've lost the battle. If today was my last day, this would be my message, has been removed. Now on the bright side, this is one of the iconic Komodo Island sunset spots. And it's not just because of the sunset, it's because of this. Those aren't any birds, those are actually giant bats. And they're all heading off to go find their prey for the night. Oh, these things are huge. Dinner time! Wow! Oh. Sorry, I saw you. Again, one more opportunity. Oh my wait, wait, wait. god! <laughs> so we've asked them to turn off all the lights because tonight, and probably every night here, the stars are amazing. Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning, everyone. 
Morning. Spirits are so high right now. We got up at like 5 a.m. Ruby and I woke up <laughs> outside. Our stargazing position turned to our sleeping position. And I woke up because you pushed me. You're like, get up, wake up. <laughs> and we have just arrived here at one of the most iconic islands of this entire area. This is Padar Island. And apparently in the past year or two, Komodo dragons have swam their way over here. So keep an eye open because one of us could become Komodo snacks. So the hike up, it's really just like a little baby hike to get up. 22 minutes, but we're gonna turn it to 10. Smiles on our faces. Not very enthusiastic. Everyone about wave it. and say yay. Uh. Wow, look at that guy. Good morning. <laughs> so pretty, hey? You are very pretty. Thanks. You're right. Now. Rick's got a creative vision. He's either gonna look like a creative genius or a or pretty shitty, but we're gonna try. Maybe it looks really cool actually. One, two. Dude, this photo better be good. <laughs> so I was prepared for Komodo dragons having to defend myself. Luckily I've got a couple of guns. But what I wasn't prepared for is that the real danger here is actually snakes. There's been two people, Max being one of them, that screamed out, snake! And then the people who are working here come running out with sticks to try to scare the snakes away. If you're uh, scared of snakes, then I don't know if I'd come here. It's worth the risk, I think, you think? Yes, it is. Yeah. Go first so I don't get bit. There's a snake right here. Go. <laughs> I'm a snake. This is a must-visit destination if you make it to Indonesia. This is actually not an anomaly. There's lots of islands like this. If you take a boat out and you don't go to the most commonly visited places, you will find just as beautiful mountains and islands as this. Goodbye to this insanely beautiful island. I know I'll be coming back one day. Wait, what happened? That eagle over there. That eagle? Yeah. It took the drone? Took yeah. the drone and uh, threw it on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Were you recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we have to find it. An eagle grabbed the drone. What? Like your drone? No, it's... <laughs> this is the most important retrieval mission of all time. Good luck! The only thing that matters is the card. No, 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 no. What? The clip is corrupted. It's gone. Why? I should have stopped recording on the Oh, yes. One of the best things so far about this trip has been the food. It's actually been super good. Lots of seafood, a bit of chicken, fresh vegetables, and everything has like a bit of a home cooked touch. I'm impressed. We have three nights here on this ship. You don't want to be stuck eating food that's not good. You guys ever seen a happier sleeper? I haven't. This is uh, just one of those amazing days. And we're unhinging our creativity. We've got the sun just chilling. This is the hawk that uh, so lovingly <laughs> took your drone. And this will be turned into an NFT and the bidding is starting down below. So go check that out. It's gonna go quick and it's gonna go for millions of dollars. But Thank if you've been saving up, I definitely recommend it. It's gonna hold its value. That boat looks like it's about to be the Titanic, headed straight for an iceberg. <laughs> oh shit, this could be Titanic. And we are just a few hundred meters away from the iconic Komodo National Park. And this is where you'll see the dreaded Komodo. A living dinosaur that's way of killing its prey is to maul them 
let the saliva that has toxins in it slowly break down the prey's body and basically over a matter of days it slowly feasts on their prey. It actually doesn't kill it because it knows that if it kills its prey the meat will all go bad in a matter of two days. So instead it slowly eats away at the creature as it tries to get away and then once it's finally paralyzed it actually just nibbles on it. Basically enjoying its meal but not finishing it off until it's time. That'll be you today. Ew. <laughs> it's so bright in the boat. The light reflecting is like a second surface of the sun. And so, our fearless explorers go in search of the Komodo dragons. Look at the fear. Rawr! <laughs> Look at it. Look at the fear. You're supposed to be scared. Rawr. So we've arrived in the land of the deadly reptile. I'll be honest, when you want this experience, you would think, oh, I'm gonna show up at this island and it's gonna be scary, it's gonna be dangerous. But then the first thing you see is just gift shops. Gift shops everywhere. The slowest person gets eaten. This is our Power Ranger. Abdi, tell me the scariest story of working here. Komodo chased me, so I, you know, I bring the stick. Oh yeah, you've so gotta I get a stick. put stick on the neck of Komodo dragons. Yeah. So you just go You stopped it. Away. The dragon is dangerous, mm -hmm. actually. But when you are full of the rules and regulation on this part, you are safe. Because the Komodos respect rules. Yep. Good. That's good. Everybody stay behind Abdi. He's our guardian angel. And he's so brave. Wild chicken. <gasps> oh. Get the stick. We were just being explained. The last time somebody died from their wounds here was 2017. And it was actually a photographer from Singapore. And he went off on his own and uh, he encountered a Komodo. He died in the hospital from the venom because there's 15 kinds of bacteria in the saliva of the Komodo. How do you and your family get around Komodo National Park safely? We are born on these islands and then we are grow up with the Komodo dragons. It's just like, you know, it's normal. Family. If we were a show, who would be the first character to die off? You. Yeah. <laughs> One of the biggest spiders I've ever seen. That is the king spider. What do you think, Max? I'm more scared of spiders than he is. Max? We've been walking for a little bit, but the reality is there's no guarantees you'll see them. This morning he saw it once. The second tour he did, he didn't see him at all. Ruby's got her stick. I feel safe. <laughs> I don't see a thing. He says he saw it when chilling. It's a big one. Right next to our boat. <gasps> oh my gosh. Holy Are you kidding me? It's so big. Wow. My man is living the life, he's chilling. He must have eaten recently. They can go 30 days without eating till they get their next meal. So they'll lose like half their body weight in that process. And then they'll eat like a water buffalo or a deer or something else on this island. Didn't you say that that's how they attack their prey? They pretend to be very tired and lazy? Like this. Yes. Are you getting away from that? That's like a prize trophy for one of these Komodos. Everyone ran away. It let out the most it, like deep menacing noise. It was like <laughs> and Everyone sprinted and then he's like don't run and Ruby kept running. Why are you running? <laughs> I have my stick. That's why we survived the Komodo dragons, but will we survive the gift shops? Run! She loves Komodo dragons. It's her favorite <laughs> No, I'm okay No, thank you I was really starting to question if we would see them at all as we were getting to the end of the trail and So I'm very very happy we did. I'm not gonna lie guys I was a little on edge at some points going down that thin little path with like no escape route But the thing I feared most was the thought of this being the final episode in our series together That's how much I love you guys. So smash that subscribe button Buy my merch. I don't have any merch. Buy Lost Creator Academy. I love you. So right now it is time to grab some fins, some masks, because we're taken to the water. Like wow, we are just having the best of luck. Amazing weather, everything is lining up. And now we have a giant group of manta rays all swimming against the current. And the current is so strong that we basically have to get driven all the way up the current, dropped off, and then we have that like one little chance to get a shot. All right, we are now in Manta Point. I'm ready. Okay, okay. can we go?
I've never had mantas like that in my life. That was so incredible. And now, we're all headed to a private little island called Makassar, where we will watch the sunset from. And we've also got these. I've been looking for a reason to look the other way. Are you serious? This is one of the most dreamy things I've ever seen. That shallow water with the sunset. Oh, thank you very much, Chris. Okay, I'm gonna show you the trick that Chris taught me uh -huh. how to open a bin tack. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry, Ooh. ladies, but uh, I'm taken. That was so incredible. On the way back, we had bioluminescent plankton. As the boat was going through the water, it was just blue on both sides as we jetted across. Ah, oh, today has been insane, dude. Insane. This is the best part. You come back from a day trip, and waiting for you is insanely delicious food. This is honestly going down already as one of my favorite travel experiences I've had. Just to be able to be in the middle of the world's most beautiful destination, having all the comfort that you need, and to be surrounded by amazing friends, this is one of those moments that I will look back on years from now and remember with a big smile. It's been nothing but amazing moments on this entire trip. So everybody got absolutely destroyed by snorkeling. I can feel insane amounts of heat coming off of my neck, my back. Kande is looking very red. <laughs> the thing is, I don't want to give up one of our last days here on the water. We've got all sorts of turtles, tortugas right beneath us. So I'm going to just wear this shirt in the water try to do a little bit of creative shooting and uh, I'll take you with me. Going to get the underwater camera all set up. So we have a casualty. I had a campaign with a camera. That camera's right now in the water. What the heck? Hey, does anyone know that there's a GoPro up here? Ah. <laughs> I'm like up here vlogging and I'm like, wait a second. I've been looking for this bad moment. Have you been looking for it? <laughs> the first one now. You were like, bro, where is my GoPro? <laughs> hey. Only one? Life. Only one? Yes, only one. <sighs> we can share. We're powerful drinkers. <laughs> Everybody has to take a drink and pass it around. That's all we've got left. Cheers. We went through our 24 pack pretty quick. Woo. This is just one of the most peaceful, beautiful ways to end a trip. And yeah, it's blown by so quickly as it always does. And I actually have some really good news that came in tonight. Sort of. It's still in unbelievably frustrating. But my YouTube video has been returned. The claimant of the copyright strike took it back. It was returned. But not after the video being gone for a full eight hours. My big concern now is will the video ever perform the same way? Is it going to mess up its reach? I don't have the answers to that. But all I know is that YouTube YouTube really failed me as a creator, as a business partner with the platform, and I'm shocked it had to come to this. The fact that I had to have a lawyer, I spent tons of money doing it, and ultimately it was me that ended up fixing things by talking to the person that made the requests, finally getting a hold of them, and YouTube did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Their partner program is basically a facade. It does nothing for you. They just send you articles that are already available online. Anyways, it's a relatively happy ending, and this is the best way to end a trip and this entire trip has been here on the Samara live aboard and I know that I'll be coming back to the Komodo Islands one day there's so much that I want to do and bring especially my family bye bye all right bye guys bye. Bye. adios Koda Kai are you guys there it's time to get the dogs oh my goodness hi guys Let's go! Come on! 
Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Back in Bali, and that's where I'm gonna end today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my face, more of Indonesia, then hit that subscribe button. And guys, let's get lost again in the next one.